Welcome back to Let's Play Jeff Force Gemini. Last time uh, we had gotten to the end of the giant worm. We're about to make our approach into the next boss room. Uh, but the uh, our entrance is a little gross, so if you're eating anything, uh, I suggest you put your food down for a minute. Oh, and he has a nice shot of the giant worm. I'd say it looks a little bit bigger from the inside. But what's this over here? Oh! Oh, no. Oh. That's right. We went in the mouth, so there's only one other place we could come out. And, uh, ugh. Oh. <laughs> if you look in the background when they show that again, it's still pulsing. Ugh. Yeah. Lupus loses a few points for coming out of there. Oh, but there's a tribal. I don't know what Lupus is waiting for. He should just go right after her. Go get her. There we go. Tribal has some buck teeth. Stop standing around, run away. Uh, oh, a second one. Ooh, right in the face. Wait, Lupus, what are you doing? Lupus, he's running away. He's abandoning her. Oh, sorry, I gotta go! Uh, use your powers of getting eaten to distract them! Oh wait, Lupus can't talk. I mean, uh... Woof. Oh man, all those platforms are disappearing. Now that poor little tribal stuck out there on that, uh, lone rock. What's going on here now? It's stuff rising out of the ground. And here come the Mantis Twins. Uh, I guess they have an official name, but... Uh -oh. Now this starts off pretty simple. Uh, just stands there and shoots like these sonic blasts at you. And uh, they're not too hard to dodge, but there are. Uh, there is a blast radius with these, so you want to make sure you're significantly far enough away from it when it blows up. Ah, uh, what's happening? There's also a couple walls here you can hide behind, uh, but they're destructible, and if they take enough damage from these guys, which you know, doesn't take much, they're gone. Oh, good! Where is he? Now, now he has switched to throwing uh, explosive turds. They make like a splatter sound when they hit the ground, and he's not he's obviously not picking up any rocks. So I guess the only thing they can be is like these like really gross turds. Again, it's still not that hard. The only difference now is he's going over here. I'm 
only using the sh uh, machine gun in short bursts. It's a good way to conserve the energy of the gun, or the ammo, depending on what kind of gun it is. And, uh... You know, you're gonna need it because after, you know, this one of the backgrounds obviously gonna come out after you. And I gotta get my act together here. I am making a lot of this, lots of contact because it keeps blinking red. Oh, I think I hit, I think I hit him about four times there. Good, there goes his arm, and now the other one should come out. Here we go, we just gotta repeat the process, but now the one in the background start making advances, or uh, attacks. It's not gonna actually come out yet. See? Rockets are gonna start coming out of everywhere. Ooh. And you can't fly, so... Oh! It becomes difficult when they both start firing at the same time, and uh, we haven't quite reached that point yet. Ah, damn it! I wasn't fast enough. Ooh. Oh, they're still making contact, but they're not doing full damage to me. Back over here. I'll be switching to my homing rockets very soon. Ah! By very soon, I mean now, because it's starting to take forever. There we go. Very nice. Yick. It makes such a gross splatter sound. Nasty. Ugh. Gonna jump over here. All right. Uh oh. Now they're attacking at the same time. Use the walls if you can. Keep in mind now, you're not going to be able to really follow them or see them as well, but they're still firing at you at the same time. I think when they're both in the foreground, they uh, one of the only one will attack, but when one's in the background, yes, I got the gun on his back. Uh, all right, get out of here. Now the other, now you know that one in the back can't do anything to us, so now it becomes a little bit easier. Whoops! He didn't fire twice. He only fired once. Oh! Oh god, it didn't hit him. Uh, sometimes the targeting doesn't always kick in right when you want it to. And obviously that's a problem. Oh, what the... Whoa. I think I'll only save it for when he's in the front. Oh, I only have one left. Alright, gotta switch up. I know exactly which one to use. Yes! Alright! Now they can't attack at all. They're completely vo Oh wait, no they can't attack! Oh, I forgot about this one. They're not completely vulnerable either. Oh shit! Oh. Ah. Now they have like four turds are coming at the same time. Oh. Oh god. Oh. This is taking a long time. I hope I have enough time to fit the whole battle in here. Oh. 
Alright, that one is completely destroyed. Yes! And it is over! That was fun. Not quite as hard as I remember it, but it's still challenging. Especially when they start laying into you with those rockets. They're a little harder uh, to avoid, so... <laughs> yes! And those will go back down, and the platforms will come up, and this is where we're going to leave off. This is cutting it close. Uh, I will meet you back here tomorrow for more Let's Play Jet Force Gemini, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. See you later!